most people think that the engineers are only involved in the construction work, but we actually engage the neighbors to find out whether they have any issues. Yes, they are. They ever asked me the feedback. They say all okay, normal, nothing else. But sometimes, but one day or two day or three day only, that's all. A lot of my regular customers. Hi, I'm Darren, the project manager of Upper Thompson. This is Jonathan. Hi, I'm a senior project engineer for Upper Thompson Station. And together, we have been working for the last seven years on this project. Our role is to ensure that the station is actually completed timely and safely. Upper Thompson is actually an underground station. So the working conditions is actually quite humid. It's actually basically just like a sauna. Like you will definitely be drenched all the way to your underwear. I don't think we can, I can really relate to anything else out there. There's one portion linking from entrance 2 and 5. Above was a major road, close to an overhead bridge. And as we actually go underneath, we are in the train tunnels. So we decided, instead of doing all the traffic diversion to build up this section of the subway, we use a retractable machine to tunnel underneath the road. So we only need to find one suitable location where we can tunnel through and retract the machine. The difference between this retractable machine tunnel and this train tunnel is only about one meter. So for this aspect of the works, the precision is actually very important. This period of time, we were quite nervous because we really could not afford for it to be out of the alignment. But end of the day, when you see your stations being completed, you will actually feel proud that you are able to actually be part of the uh, construction. Besides engineers, we work with architects. Architects are in charge of the station layout and design. When I design stations, the main goal that I have is to improve the experience of the commuters, to give them a positive experience for Caldecox because it's a very deep station. We introduce skylights to bring daylight into the concourse such that it uses less electricity to light up the station. It's always in our design process to include the users in the design. We put in a lot of effort to help nearby developments such as the Singapore Association of the Visually Handicapped. We actually bring them down to the station itself to get their feedback. So in the end, they are very happy with the improvement that we have made for them. When you go down the escalator from the concourse to the platform, you can actually see the real artwork greeting the commuters. So I think every day is a meaningful day where we have a part to play in improving the experience for the commuters. Sometimes weather is very hot, so they feel thirsty, so I am always giving free drinks to them. They build a new line, huh? I hear very happy. If there is a chance, it will be good. There will be a lot of people, it will be good. For the opening, definitely there will be this sense of emotions. After seven years of hard work, we actually able to appreciate the effort that everybody contributed to make this happen. This station is our baby, everybody who is involved. You see this from day one all the way now to this finished product. Feels like the baby has grown up. <laughs> I had my kid halfway through the construction of this station. So I hope that when I bring her here, she'll be able to look at the different features of this line. She can take her first MRT ride also. <laughs>